Hi Stampers, I'm Jill and I'm here to show you some fun things with a new suite that we have. It's called the Fancy Floral Suite and it's like a super suite because it has two stamp sets, two sets of dies and DSP and extra accessories. So let me show you in person what those look like. These are amazing right here. They're like a shimmery color and you've got the gold, the fresh freesia and the soft succulent colors in this glimmer and it's, oh, it's so gorgeous. The DSP that goes with this suite has got so many colors in it and it's like you're an artist because it's already painted on the DSP and look at those amazing colors just love it because it's like got this brush look on it but it's like super thick paint so it gives dimension to the DSP look at those amazing colors I'm going to show you some fun and easy ways to use the, that DSP and of course our pool party grow grain ribbon that we have beautiful color and these cool gems there's calypso coral there's gold and there's balmy blue in those gems you've got the larger size and the smaller size and i use three of these almost on every single card okay let me show you this is the other stamp set it's called something fancy and i love sayings i can have a million sayings because you can never have enough sayings and these are the dies that go with them I love the versatility of these dies. They can nest in each other. There's two geometric dies, and there's all these that you can use for little accents to, or to cut to make like a little tag for these dies. So the versatility of these dies and this same set are amazing. So I'm gonna show you some things that I've done with them. I'm just gonna show you a note card size idea with the geometric shapes dies right here. I'm just going to take this one die and the note card size and I've already glued this to the note card and I'm going to cut out this geometric size with my die cutting machine. Put that down on the bottom part of my card and I'm going to run this through and it's going to cut through the cardstock and the designer series paper all at the same time. You can do this with the, these dies. Okay, so I'm going to punch that out. So really, I have two pieces right here. I've got the cardstock and the designer series paper right there. Okay, now this leaves a little window on the inside. I'm going to take the other side of this designer series paper and put it on the inside of the card. And you can use the outs, it just depends on what you want for the inside of your card for the saying. I want my saying to pop a little bit, so I'm going to use um, just the brighter side of this. I'm going to frame the inside of the card. So when it closes, you can see that yellow, the Daffodil Delight. Okay, I'm going to take the Happy Birthday in the Evening Evergreen. The cool thing about this designer series paper, you know, there's so many colors you can pull from it to be able to stamp with and to use the different colors. So it's like amazing to be able to have all those options. Now I'm just gonna stamp this happy birthday right in the center of that geometric shape die. Happy birthday. And that pops because you have the, the um, Daffodil Delight behind it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get a frame from your die cut. I went ahead and already cut this out in part of the shimmer. Now I'm not going to use this part. I'm going to use the negative part of the die. I'm going to take my stamp and trimmer and this line right here, which is a quarter of an inch, I'm going to line that up with the inside of your die. So I'm gonna have a quarter of an inch all the way around this die. So I'm just kind of making a frame of the inside of the die. 
If you keep the same measurements all the way around, you'll have a frame that matches all the way around. And you notice how the diagonal, I went ahead and put my die on the line in the diagonal. So now I've got a frame for that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on just using some green glue. Cause you know, you'll wanna match it up and you'll have a few more minutes to do that when you use green glue cause it doesn't dry right away. And you can place that like so. So now we've got a frame around our seine. Now I would go ahead and use a ribbon on this side, but I'm gonna show you some of those that I've already done that I've already completed with the ribbon. Okay, here's this one in the same type of a paper using the coral and I went ahead and tied the ribbon first and then put the frame on. I went ahead and used the same paper, flipped it around and used this on the inside, just like I did on that one. Now, the extra piece of your DSP that is six inches, you can take and put on your envelope this one right here is the same type of a thing. I just used a shimmer paper on the whole outside of that card. Now this ge geometric shape right here, I went ahead and did the same thing as I did with this one, the kind of um, banner, and cut that out to get a frame around the thank you. Now these are cards basically just used with the dies that are already in there the nesting. This I used and I just didn't cut it all the way through so I can take the, the um, opposite on both ends of the long card. But I love how these dies really fit the sayings. And there's another one with the gold. It's amazing designer series paper and I just love how the versatility of these dies work for this stamp suite. Hope you've enjoyed seeing the Fancy Floral Suite and some of the stamp sets and dies that go with it. If you're interested in any of these products, click down below and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.